Hi, I'm Noor. I'm a PhD researcher at the Malaysia Japan International Institute of Technology, MJIIT, University of Technology in Malaysia. I'm so glad to be part of eMOOC 2016, as well as to share with all of you my paper uh, in this flip MOOC conference. For your information, the title of my uh, paper is a conceptual business model for MOOC sustainability in higher education. And I believe that this research is important and could greatly contribute to the MOOC community as well as the research so far because I believe there is has there has been a deficit as well as underdevelopment when it comes to MOOC sustainability in higher education. As you know, right now, um, the use and the implementation as well as the execution of MOOC at higher education has been quite rampant. And uh, most higher education nowadays are implementing MOOC worldwide. Unfortunately, despite the, uh, the wide execution as well as the implementation of MOOC, there is quite a lack of research has been conducted on how MOOC program as well as execution can be optimized at the management level as well as to offer tangible and non-tangible benefit to both management as well as the end users. I believe that it is important for us to address the issue of sustainability for MOOC in higher education because we have invested a lot of money and there has been a lot of investment has been conducted at institutional level as well as trans institutional level therefore being able to address how the the investment could be sustained in the long run is very important and I believe that what I would like to address in my paper is to see how the management as well as the end users can definitely benefit from uh, the the use of MOOC as well as implementation of MOOC in the long run as you know, MOOC itself is uh, open to everyone and it offers quality, uh, free education to everyone. And I believe that apart from this benefit, it is also important to study how the impact of MOOC to the current business model in higher education. So in my paper, I've studied some of the existing business model when it comes to higher education as well as to study how well a MOOC could be integrated as well to be... Um... So in this sense, I would like to see how MOOC could be integrated and be optimized in the current existing business model for higher education. So in my paper, I will discuss the factors that lead to MOOC sustainability in higher education. And how I will do this, I will basically do a systematic teacher review on the existing studies as well as the empirical researches that has been done and conducted on MOOC uh, implementation in higher education so far. And from the systematic teacher review, what I would do is to uh, integrate with the data analysis that I collected using qualitative analysis via in-depth interview with the stakeholders in MOOC, in, in MOOC execution at higher education. And I believe that the symbiosis between the systematic literature review as well as the, uh, the outcome of the stakeholder analysis could give us a better and holistic overview and on how MOOC could be sustained in the higher education. And the, uh, the outcome of my paper is basically to offer a conceptual business model for MOOC sustainability that contains nine factors uh, which could greatly contribute to how MOOC could be sustained and could be optimized at, in the higher education. Therefore, I'm looking forward to seeing all of you at eMOOC 2016 and I hope that my paper could uh, benefit uh, those who are the stakeholders uh, in the MOOC implementation in higher education. And I look forward to pre be presenting at eMOOC 2016. So thank you so much for listening and I hope to see you again. Bye.